One second, the SAT math looks like this, okay? And you're like, do, 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 do. you know, it's really easy. But then you open up that second module and it looks like this. I mean, I'm sorry. I'm not sorry at all. Today is all about strategy. So just listen up. Today I'm going to be covering some of the absolute best strategies that you can start implementing right now to like increase your SAT math score. I know it probably needs some help. That is why you are here. A question I get asked on a daily is literally just, what do I need to focus on for digital SAT math? And I got you. First, you wanna make sure that you have all the prerequisite knowledge that you need in order to be successful. And I know you're gonna ask me, well, how do I figure out what I need to know? Let me tell you, the algebra and the problem solving and data analysis sections really serve as the base math that you're gonna want to have under your belt to be fully prepared to take on the upper level concepts. And you can simply text the phrase math topics to add to feed digital SAT on Instagram for the general areas you want to be comfortable in. Just some quick topics to throw at you that are covered. You want to make sure that you can factor a trinomial. You want to be able to work with percentages, familiarize yourself with all things quadratics like the quadratic formula and what a discriminant is. Obviously, this isn't all the skills that you're going to want to have. And if you'd like a dedicated video on the most commonly tested topics for digital SAT math, just let me know down below in the comments and I will get right on it. One thing I will say real fast is if you are one just starting out on the SAT grind, good luck first of all, but no, I got you. What you're going to want to do is take that practice test, see where you need the most work in, and then go from there. If you're one who's like, you know what, I know my problem is algebra, and I just need to know the best way to study, the best way to learn all these concepts that I do not know, honestly, the secret to mastering the digital SAT section is just all about practice. And while I know that's a word you probably despise, it's all in the drill. Use your resources. Y'all, College Board's SAT Question Bank, this has been a lifesaver when it comes to just SAT in general. It's free, all you have to do open up the website, filter to the section that you want to work on, and start repping through all those questions. And when you get stuck on one, one thing you can do, just saying, is you can take a little screenshot of the question and plug it into the help chat on the Discord server, and maybe, just maybe, someone will help you through it. It's worth a shot, just saying. One thing I will say is if you can teach it, then you know it. So if you open up that help chat and you see a question that you know how to solve, Go ahead, help that person because it's not only gonna benefit them, but it will also benefit you because then you will have solidified that concept. So definitely use that resource as well. If I haven't convinced you to join the server, Scholar Circle has a whole category full of other useful SAT resources that you are not going to want to miss out on, including the new SAT Learn feature tab where you can get live feedback to your answers to questions on commonly missed SAT question type. Plus you can view how others attempted a question to adjust or improve your approach. So it's really just a win when the join link is in the description. All right, I have to address the elephant in the room. I know I'm gonna get asked about this, but the geometry section because what is this? I'm sorry. If you're one who just wants to know the essential rules and knowledge that you're gonna wanna know for the geometry and trigonometry sections, then go ahead and download my new PDF. Yes, a new one is finally out. It's just a comprehensive PDF with all of the prerequisite knowledge that you're gonna wanna have to be successful on the geometry and trigonometry sections. Now, if you're one who's like, you know what? Learning the rules is great, but I am a visual learner and I need to have that hands-on experience to actually understand what's going on, then Brilliant is gonna be your absolute best friend. Now Brilliant is an interactive learning platform designed to make learning math, science, and computer science actually engaging and hands-on. Literally what we need. Especially for topics like geometry where you're going to need to conceptually understand what's going on in order to apply all of these formulas and rules. Brilliant's geometry courses are an incredible way to gain that intuitive understanding and to just grasp, remember, and actually understand geometry, right? So if you're interested, do make sure to click the link down below in my description to receive a free 30-day trial to Brilliance Premium along with a 20% discount to Brilliance Premium Package. You're my viewer. You deserve literally nothing but the best. And also thank you to Brilliant for sponsoring today's video. Use it. Trust me on that. The other two things I want to mention are accuracy and speed. Once you get to a place when you feel more confident in your math knowledge itself, then you want to focus on accuracy and speed. You build that accuracy again just through practice, practice, practice. Because the more you practice, the more confidence you will gain and the more confidence you gain, hopefully the more your SAT score will continue to improve. The other part is speed. I feel that once you have that essential knowledge grasped, it's all just a matter of putting it into play, right? With the SAT math section, to be honest, that first module you will probably be able to do in less than 12 minutes, but the second module, I get it. So 
two things you can practice with a timer literally just open up your little timer and figure out how long it takes you to solve a given question keep repping through trying to build that speed the other thing you can do is learn all things desmos to be honest the majority of the algebra questions can be answered through just a little do to do on desmos learn your way around desmos and this math section will literally be a piece of cake you won't even have to think twice about you know your score that you will get because i know y'all are going to start asking me for all of the desmos hacks and tricks i will be having a video coming out soon on all things desmos and when that video comes out it will be linked down below in the description go check it and maybe already there also make sure to check out my description i constantly link all of the resources that i use to study and the resources that i have found the most helpful when studying for the sat definitely make sure to go check it out i love you guys so much subscribe we are almost at 10k and yes i will see you guys in my next one bye